Hey everyone, it's Mikey Abrams with Texas Pride Realty Group, and I'm here to talk to you today about types of home buying loans. This is a question that I get. There are so many different options on ways to purchase a house. Now, if you got the cash, well, of course, cash is the king and the queen of the land, but we ain't always got that cash, so we gotta go to the bank and the lenders to uh, press our dinero. So this is the types of loans, and I'm going to run these down for you. Number one is conventional. Conventional is a standard home buying loan, where generally you can put a minimum of 5% for your down payment, and then you can get a mortgage on the rest. Now there are some cases where you could qualify for a 3%, but that is always about your income level and your credit scores. So that's something to inquire with loan originators about that I can connect you with. The other thing that you can do for conventional is put 20% down. Now, this is a myth that you have to put 20% down for a home. Wrong! You don't have to do that. Now, if you do wanna do 20% down, you get rid of what's called the mortgage premium insurance, which is an additional kind of insurance monthly payment that'll put on your mortgage payments. But if you put 20% down, it's gone and it reduces your monthly payments okay that is the conventional loan the next type of loan is fha fha is a federal loan that you're going to receive some additional help from the government and fha is for people with lower incomes and you don't have to put a lot down for fha a minimum of 3.5 percent down very low percentage down. In addition to that, we can also incorporate some of the closing costs being covered by the sellers within your offer. So for example, if the home itself is $250,000, we offer $255,000, the seller can pay an additional $5,000 to help your closing. They walk away with the listing price, you've rolled your money into your loan, you can pay it for over 30 years. Some of the downfalls of the FHA loan though is occasionally you will have lender required repairs because you are getting some money from mama and daddy. So you wanna make sure that things like peeling paint, foundation, working appliances, roof, all these kind of major things uh, needs to be addressed and it's something that we can clean out when looking at homes together. Next type of loan is the VA. 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 VA type of loan. That's the veteran's loan. All right. You have to be in the armed services to get that. All right. So thank you to our troops and everyone involved in helping our country. So be and because of that, you get rewarded with this type of loan. Wonderful thing about this, 0% down. 0% down. Oh, that's a good one. But if you're doing this, this is the downfall of a VA loan. This is a really strict loan and they have to make sure that A, it appraises for everything that you're bidding on. Because <laughs> if it comes in low, then we out. And number two, if there are lender required repairs, that has to be completed. Uh, number three, also a pest and termite. Uh, test and inspection is required as well. So you've got a little bit more restrictions and requirements and hurdles to jump with the VA loan, but hey, you ain't putting no money down. Fourth type of loan is USDA. That is a rural, the rural loan. <laughs> rural, up, I, that's a hard word to say, my gosh. Those are for homes that are located kind of way out in the boondocks, out into the country. Some homes can qualify for this, but we gotta make sure that they are meeting in the location and boundary areas. So we need to investigate this a little bit more with lenders as far as which specific properties are gonna qualify for this type of loan. Good thing about this one though, is that it is 0% down, some lender required repairs as well. But the main thing about this is just the location and finding houses that could qualify for that. So I do hope that this was a good answer to the question of what type of loans should I use? Then uh, that way you got your feet a little bit wet. Uh, for more questions and answers, please follow my YouTube page and feel free to reach out to me anytime. Thanks. Take pride in your real estate experience.